love it. It's Christine Rilo here, and I have a divine spark from my heart to your heart. It's Sunday morning, I'm here with my tea. Mm. Got my yogi tea bag, who is making sure to remind us that it is time, beloved, to recognize that you are the truth. I um, This divine spark is for any of you who may ever feel that you should be somewhere other than you are, that there is somehow that your life is supposed to be different, and so you feel pressure or stress or judgment, you push yourself to be farther than you think you should be, or you judge yourself against these crazy banana standards of what and how your life should look. I have been talking to so many people, and I, <laughs> I go here myself, where we we are we are tormenting ourselves. We are tormenting yourself because your life doesn't look like you think it should. And that, my love, is a form of suffering you do not need. Because here's the truth. You actually are totally in charge of the stories that you tell up here. And today's Divine Spark is really a love letter, a permission slip, a please, please stop. Please, please stop being so hard on yourself and judging yourself against these unrealistic expectations or even just judging yourself against how you think your life should be. Because when you're judging your life for how you think it should be, you're actually living in the past and you're cutting off the flow for the present that can bring you into the future. You're actually stopping the divine from being able to help you because you're so snarled up in this story of it's not, it's not the way it's supposed to be. It's not supposed to look this way. But when you can actually let that go, that story, because it's all that it is, just think about it for a second. Whatever picture you have in your mind about how things are supposed to be is just a story your brain has made up, which means you can create a different story. And so my question to you today, beloved, is where in your life how in your life right now are you judging yourself, stressing yourself out, putting pressure on yourself about how your life's supposed to be and how maybe it's the relationship, the money, the career, the whatever. What are you telling yourself? What is just that crazy story you're telling yourself that's like a burden on your brain that's making you feel bad about who you are and what you've already accomplished and pressuring yourself? What's that story? Just go ahead and put your hand on your heart for a moment and just take a deep breath in. And let's just pause. And just let's be honest here, me to you, mano on mano, one on one. Just really admit that to yourself, that you're judging this should be different. For me, it's I do this all the time with my housing situation because I've still not found my house in wine country and I'm still looking for my sanctuary. And when I get down on myself that it should be different, I should have found my house by now, I get all depressed or anxious or I feel defeated. And that anxiety, that defeatedness, that just stops the flow from coming in. All right, so you've admitted to yourself that you're totally running a story on yourself here. Okay, so let's just go ahead and move that into the past. I want you to come here right now with me in the present and really listen to these words, beloved. You are exactly where you are meant to be. Whatever is happening in your life, whatever is not happening in your life, it's okay. There's nowhere to push. There's nowhere to get to. It doesn't mean that you don't have dreams and it doesn't mean that you don't have desires. But in this moment, I'm inviting you to stop pushing yourself to get there and to put your hands on your heart and really feel this truth, this love, that where you're at is okay. And here's the great news. 
this is a concept, a reality that I have been working with and speaking with all of my women in my circles about and all my women that come to my retreat. And Noah and I have been working with this too in our couple as we're visioning our new year, our new life, our new decade together. Here's the great thing. That desire that you have, that, that person that you know yourself to be, that you're not quite there yet, that you're not quite manifest at, that part of you is already where you're going. You've already sent that part of you ahead. It's as if the cosmos, there's like, there's like a cosmic self that you've put, that stardust, that's out there just standing there, waiting for you. And the thing is, it's you already there. And every day, that cosmic part of you, that part of you that is already three years, five years, 10 years out, whatever the timing is, doesn't matter, but is standing in that place where you know that there's these dreams and desires and expressions and, and of yourself that, that, are, that you're wanting to bring into form, it's there. And every day, that cosmic stardust, hologram, it's like a hologram of yourself, becomes more and more carbon. Every day, that part that's just there in the field, becomes more and more and more carbon. The cosmic becomes more carbon. And so that means that the divine heaven field inspiration becomes more and more earth every day. This is how our dreams become reality. This is how our manifestations become reality. It's not like, oh, just one day it's there. It's every day it's happening. Every day what you feel in the field is becoming more and more and more true. It may not look like you think, it may not be in the form that you think. It's probably not. And it's likely not in the timing in your brain that your, that your ego would like for it to occur, but it's happening. And so my invitation to you as you go into this moon cycle, as you go into the rest of your life, is to start feeling and seeing that it's already happening. And to be in communion with that cosmic part of yourself, as well as with the carbon part of yourself the divine part, and the physical part. And to bring those together and see it's happening. So let's just try this right now. Let's go ahead and close your eyes. Hand on your heart. In that place in your life where you're feeling like it's not happening fast enough, I want you just to go ahead and feel into that hologram, that part of you that's already cosmic part that's already there. And see her and him already living what it is that you feel in your heart and soul, you're here to manifest and be and create and give. And feel her, feel him. Feel him in your life, feel how they move, how they groove, where they live, where they work, what you're like. That's already there. And just ask that hologram, that cosmic hologram of you, what's one thing that you need to know today so that you can feel that this is happening, so that you can release the fear and have faith, so you can allow the divine flow to come in to all those cells that might be stressed out and blocking it. What's one thing this cosmic self can tell yourself right now that will help you bring the cosmos into carbon, into form? Just feeling yourself slowing down to feel that. One of the reasons you rush so much is because you're trying to get to where that hologram, that cosmos is. And love, we can't rush. We can't push. There's too much taxation on your body, on your heart, on your field. So my invitation to you is this moon, this month, in fact, for the rest of your life, to start being in communion with that part of yourself. I was on my mat today, if you can see it down there, my little mat, my little yoga mat. I was down there today talking to her before I got to have tea with you. And she gave me what I needed to help me relax and allow my home to come in divine timing. So I invite you to do the same every morning. Connect, see yourself, feel yourself as already there. Find evidence of it happening. And just ask for one thing that you need to know. She knows the path. She knows the path. There's no rush for it.
take care of your heart.